Well, hello everybody. Let's see how we can start with blockchain.com. We are going to be creating a wallet. If you don't have anyone, we're going to be helping you step by step. So let's dig into it. And I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description so you can get your account totally for free and you might be receiving a few rewards just by signing up with that link provided. So if you clicked down there in the description, you're going to be seeing something like this. So what we want to do is to create our blockchain account. So what we want to do is to provide an email address to provide a passcode. We want to confirm a passcode, the country of residence. Um, if you have a referral code, you don't have to worry about that because we already uh, set it up that for you. After input your all your information, you want to hit into continue, and it just it should not take that long. But what we need to do after we have the account successfully created banner, which is actually this option, it's going to be asking for the verification process in order to start working here into blockchain. Now this process is really simple. But first of all, what we need to do is to verify our email. So for that, it's really simple. We just need to open our email. So as you can see, the verification process uh, has been done successfully. So what you want to do is to return to the previous tab that we were before, which is actually this option. And this one is, be, this one is going to be redirecting us into the account created. So what you want to do is either choose the exchange or the wallet. So what we want to do is to choose the wallet of blockchain. And here I'm going to be choosing this option. This one is going to be redirecting me into the wallet of blockchain. So voila, now we are into the crypto world. So what, once we are in here, I'm going to skip to this content just for a second. If you want to buy crypto, let's say for example, I want to buy Bitcoin. All right, so as you can see, it's going to be asking for an upgrade to your account. This is not a payment uh, deal. Actually, this is more easier than you think. So they are going to be asking for a verification process in order to unlock the access to buy, to sell, to swap, and to receive a few rewards if you do have a, a let's say, for example, your account already upgraded. So what you want to do is to choose the upgrade and unlock. I want to have the full access of my account, right? So what's going to happen here is going to be asking for my legal first name, my legal last name, and as shown of my government issued ID or my passcode, I want to provide the day, the date of my birth. So once I've already successfully done that, here, let's say for example, I'm just going to tap something like really, really random because I already have an account that has been um, verified a few uh, months ago. So I'm going to hit into next. So what's going to be asking now is for the home address. Do you want to go into you want to go into next and then it's going to be asking for the usage of the account information. So here, what you want to choose, if you want to choose all the options, you are, I mean, you are ready to go. I mean, you are like really welcome. You can choose to buy, to trade, to send and for business. But in my case, I do only want to focus into buy and trade like this or even send cryptocurrencies to the third party because I think the business is not that uh, necessary. Then we have the source of our funds. So here to select only one source of funds, I can strongly suggest it to put it here the salary or family. So it's going to be like much more easier to verify our account. So you want to choose those options and there are you acting on your own behalf. Of course we are. So I'm going to choose yes. And then we have a political exposed person. We are not, we are not a family member or close as you said it is. If you are, well, you have to choose this option, but I can strongly suggest you to stick into no. You don't want to mess around with those issues. And lastly, we need to provide our citizen. In my case, I do want to look for a country that's from Latin America and choose into next. After that, what's going to be asking for now is for the photo of like, our identity, which uh, that could be a government issued ID, a driver license or a national identity card, for example, like your passport. So for that, 
you want to choose the option that fits for you the best and go into start verification so here we are going to be have to enable our webcam and our camera in order to make the verification process so what's going to happen here is that it's going to be asking to um i mean to accept this code to use our smartphone and then we can scan this code and provide our legal information in order to create our account which we do have the home section the prices and the earned option now if i go here into my account in the upper side you are going to be seeing here i'm going to hit into general so if i scroll a little bit down uh, you can see that i don't have any kind of strikes so that means that my account has been totally verified and here you might be seeing that i have six uh, usdc so now that our account has been verified we can now start to buy some tokens so what you want to do is to hit into buy go into prices for example and try to look for a token that you want to buy that you have the mind of the buying section if you want to earn a few money uh, here's going to be appearing the action that you can do for example i can go into cardano so cardano is 32 cents i want to hit into buy all right so as you can see it's going to be asking how much money you want to buy uh so for example let's say i want to buy only one dollar and this one is equal to three zeros i mean that three zeros five eight bitcoin if you want to buy the maximum amount you can choose that in my case i don't want to focus in there actually this one appears at ten dollars let's say i want to buy only four dollars of that so we only have a minimum buy we need to buy of course minimum of five dollars in order to make transactions in here so i want to choose five dollars and here is to add a payment method so as you can see we do have this option and after that you want to choose into next into preview your buy and after you confirm that your information or everything that you, you want to buy is has been successfully added you want to just hit into buy and you should see that in your account your money is now uh in here so if you go into the transactions that from the token that you bought here into received sent and transferred uh it should, it should appear the buy option here's the transaction and here's from one place using a credit or a debit card in my case here is my balance so as you can see we do have a trading account and i do have a usdc private key wallet we do have two sections because if you want to let's say to to sell your tokens or to trade from one token into another one you must transfer that into transfer account and if you want to send money away from one wallet into another one you have to choose the private key wallet so here you can uh let's say to start earning money so and that's the way that we can start here into the blockchain now you guys know how to create verify your account if you want to send money away choose the send option here we have the received section and the trade option you can even download out the mobile version of the blockchain so you can have more features and this is actually like a little bit more faster to use the uh, application of blockchain so hopefully guys this was a very useful video for you don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more about the blockchain uh, wallet thank you once again for watching this video uh, good luck with your new wallet and i'll see you guys in the next one